But now to good health. Doctors say there is an increase in the number of young people suffering strokes. Uh, Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a closer look at the potential reasons why and what you can do to reduce your risk. That's right, Devin and Karen. You know, a stroke is a brain attack, and that happens when blood flow is cut off to an area of the brain. Now, while your risk of suffering a stroke increases with age, up to 10% of strokes occur in people under age 45, including some that seem perfectly healthy. And I, I kind of noticed my balance was a little off. At 32 years old, Fred Saunders had a stroke in the middle of a gym. The ambulance came, they took me to the hospital, and they said I had a stroke. Fred was eating right and working out regularly. He never thought his health was in danger. I thought I just needed to take a nap because I was tired. Younger people are far more likely to ignore potential warning signs. It is a strange phenomenon to have such young patients, you know, uh, stricken with stroke. But you got to understand the nature of stroke. Stroke is not prejudice. It'll hit anybody at any point. Stress can cause uh, vessels to constrict. And then if you have the tiniest blood clot, it can stop that, it can impede that flow. Stress may have been a factor for Fred. And I had my stroke, I was working two jobs, um, trying to train for a competition, uh, just probably not getting enough rest. Stroke symptoms include facial drooping, problems with your speech, tingling in your arms or legs, or numbness on one side of your body. Seeking help fast is critical. And if we can get that medicine into you, it can bust up that clot and immediately return circulation to the brain. Certain factors that increase the risk of suffering a stroke at a younger age include suffering migraines, being pregnant, using birth control pills, obesity, and smoking. And some experts believe chronic stress may also play a role. You were talking to a guy there who looked very, very fit. Mm -hmm. right. right. Well, that's yeah. exactly it. You know, you can't necessarily tell. And you know, from from my department, you know, from my standpoint in the ER, it's sometimes very difficult when people come in with stroke-like symptoms and you look at them and it's it's almost in disbelief. Yeah. Yeah. But it's happening. Doesn't calculate, yeah. Good yep. reminder. All right, Doc. Mm -hmm.